possible punishments that God has given you. We have to understand when we are disobedient to God, not following the rules and regulations of the Bible, we have to understand that God is going to punish and curse us. Yes, God is a God of love, but he also is a God of punishment and curses. Yes, he is. Well, I don't believe what you are saying, Kevin. Well, look, what did God do to the nation of Israel when they would continue purposely to disobey him? He would punish and curse them. So why do you believe that you are any different? You are not. Let me say this too. Bad things are happening to you. You are continuing doing things that you know that are wrong. So what you do, you feel sorry for yourself and you talk to this person, call that person, so on and so on, complaining, talking about your issues, having pity parties. Let me say this. I really, really dislike pity parties. Why? Because when you allow pity parties to go on, that person has an excuse to stay in that same rut as they are in now. Other than looking at their problems and changing. Other than making excuses or trying to find pats on the back and stuff like that. That rhymes. <laughs> I'm serious. Stop having pity parties. They are no good. How many years have you been having pity parties? So many years. Have anything changed? No. So why are you having them? Look at your problems and change them. You know that you are doing wrong. Why do you believe that God is going to punish everyone else for disobedience, but when it comes down to you, you expect God to not punish you? That makes no sense. God has been punishing you for this long. So you believe that God is going to snap his fingers and say, hey, I have been punishing you for all these years, but now, hey, I am going to stop now. Come on now. Let's be serious. Pity parties are bad. Stop them. Don't participate in them. I know when it comes down to your mom and dad, there is nothing you can really do about it, but like friends and stuff like that, stop them. Face your issues. Stop doing wrong. You know that you are doing wrong, so bad things are happening to you. Now you are whining that bad things are happening to you, but you are the cause of it. Forgive your enemies. Clear out that unforgiveness within you. You, you need to move on. <sighs> Pity parties. Stop them. Stop. Possible punishments that God is giving you. Number one, financial problems. Number two, health problems. Number three, you are having, renting, or rent, and mortgage problems. Number four, tax problems. Number five, dental problems. Number six, relationship problems. Give me a second, please. Number seven, not able to find a wife or husband. 
which potentially can be a curse. You have been searching for a wife or husband. You have been praying to God for one. But still, you have not found one yet. That can be a curse. Number seven, not able to find. Number eight, persistent car trouble. Number nine, persistent headaches. Number 10, fear issues always in fear for no logical reason, which is common. Number 11, you can't hardly get ahead. When good things happen to you, it seems that it is quickly snatched away from you. As the expression goes, it is like taking one step forward and two steps back. Number 12, you have no joy in this life. Number 13, you are financially stable, but you have no peace. You are always afraid of going broke, like a petrifying fear, which is a curse. God has not given you the spirit of fear. 14. Everything you do, something seems to go wrong. It is to the point where it does not surprise you. So let me say this too. Of course, there are many more punishments that God can give you. So this is only 14 here. I believe you get the point. So change your life. Repent of your sins now while you still have the chance. Because tomorrow is not promised. We can die at any time. Even myself. Repent of your sins even if you believe that you did nothing wrong all day long. Just get in a habit of repenting. Take heed to this. God bless.